what are components and what are variants and variables into Framer. So in this beginner video, I'm going to walk you through all these details and uh, we are going to use one of the most simplest um, UI element with, that we can use to do so, which is the button. So let's get started. Here we are inside Framer. So there are different ways to create a button. The first one, that, which is the simplest one, obviously, is to go under insert here. And here we have a bunch of item and elements that we can start our layout with. And under patterns, there is this button, which is click, you see, it's a button, you just drag and drop it. And yeah, that's it. But we want to start from scratch. So let's delete this and add some simple text here under text. As you can see, we can choose from a, a previous created style. We can change the content. We can uh, change the font, color, etc., etc. So everything that we need. For, for example, here I want, let's say, Roboto, and let's use 20, even though it's a little bit, bit big for a button. Now that we have the text, we have to create the shape around. So there are two ways, two main ways to do so, or I would say three ways, and I will show you at the, at the end. So the first way is to right click. As you can see here, we have add frame. The frame is basically the container of our text. Click here and we add the frame. And now if we go um, on, under layer, as you can see, we have a frame around there is another way common enter and so common enter it is but but there is a third way which is the simplest way for me uh, because actually i'm a happy happy owner of a stream deck as you might know the stream deck is a fantastic button box where you can customize all the buttons uh, with uh, everything you want for every uh, tools that you're using. And it's amazing because you can customize it and create some um, action packs uh, for every tools you use. And that's amazing. And if you want, and if you're interested into an action pack for Framer or for Webflow or for Figma, you have it on my website. So let's check it on my website here below. So let's go back on creating the button. As we said, the third way is to go on my stream deck. And as you can see here, I have a lot of different buttons and each buttons can do a lot of stuff. So uh, what I have here is just this button that exactly have the same shortcuts in it to create a frame. So now that we have a frame, uh, we have a layout that appears. So here, basically we can uh, start to style everything. If we want to use a, a, a grid or a stack, uh, the directions, if it should be uh, horizontal or vertical center, the wrapping. And what we need now is to put some padding. So the padding is, for example, 16. And if you're used to Figma, you know that what is the difference between those two uh, icons. So one is 16 all around, and one is to basically change the uh, padding side by side. So, and this is what we need. So uh, we have on top, for example, I want only eight, on the right 16, on the bottom again eight, and on the left 16. What happened here is that you know, we don't see any uh, kind of differences in terms of um, of this padding. Why this? Because on under the size, as you can see, we have fixed width and fixed height, and so we have to put it as fit content, fit content everywhere. And now, as you can see, we have some more breathe around the text. Other thing that I want to do obviously is to change the fit color. I want something like um, nice uh, purple and um, I want the text. Uh, so I select double click and I select the text inside and I change the color into white. And I want the shape to be like a pill. And there is there are two ways to do it. so. The first one is to use this uh, little handle that you can see here and drag it over to the center uh, so that we have this uh, this pill or we can use actually under the styles here the radius so now that we have 
our button and let's rename here under the layer the button. Now we have to create a component. Again, there are different ways to do so. Uh, if we uh, right click, uh, you can see that we have create component, which is uh, option common K, voila. So now we are basically inside the world of our component. Now, as you can see, we have two ways here. One is on the right and one is below. So here is basically to create a new variant of the same button. And below we have what are called the intermediate, intermediate, inter, intermediate, 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 yeah, intermediate state. Basically the intermediate state can be the hover and pressed. So hover, for example, we can change the color like a you know, little bit darker violet and we can create also the pressed state with, uh, I don't know, a little bit lighter uh, violet, right? So we have basically those three um, variants of the same button. As you can see under the style, we also have the transition. Transition basically, it's the transition that is used to make the transition from the uh, basic state to the hover or to the uh, pressed state. So, and here you can really play with it. You can uh, basically use a, a, an ease, uh, use a spring. You can um, uh, change the timing if you want it. Um, a longer duration like for example 0 0.6 instead of 0 0.3 uh, you can put delay etc etc so you can really play with it instead if we go on the right we can create a new variant of the same button so let's say that I want a button that is completely different in shape for example. So let's say that instead of having 20 of radius, I want this to be only eight. And uh, also I want that both of them will have an icon inside, right? So let's pick an icon. So from insert, we can go under icons here and we have a really large set of different icons set like material design, phosphor, here's uh, icon or etc, etc. Let's drag it inside. Here we are, we change the size. Everything that we put inside the primary button will be shared and spread into all the variants because the primary button is the one that will master, will uh, is, is like the master of all the variants. We can also create, again, uh, the same hover state, like we change the color, we uh, take the picker and that's it. And now we create the press bu button and we can change the color and pick the same color. So let's go back home. And now on this button, we have what? We have, as you can see under the, uh, the component here, we have variants and we can choose, as you can imagine, so the two variants, pills or rounded. Simple, right? As you can see here, we have one of the first variables of our component, which is basically the uh, content of the button. So let's say uh, whatever, whatever we want. Here we can create whatever variable we want to and let's see how the variables works in Framer. So let's double click it. As you notice, here on the right, we have some plus and all these are clickable. Why? Because you can create variables for each things of those. For example, uh, visibility. I can create a variable like this will be icon uh, visibility and I click enter and I have created a first variable. This is called name, okay? But actually it's the type of the icon. So let's put a variable also for this, create the variables. Okay, so icon type, for example, let's click enter. Pull the color here, label and icon color. 
okay? And if I click on this, I can use actually for the color the same uh, variables so that this will change both in the same at the same time. I can also create a variable uh, for the uh, background color of the button. So let's select again uh, the main button and here on fill I can create a variable, a color value a variable and let's call it like a BG button and click enter. So now if we go back on home and we uh, select our button Oh, you see, we have a lot of new variables here that we can play with. Uh, icon visibility, yes or no. And if I change uh, to peel here, we can change with whatever icon we want to, right? So the good thing of this, what is, is that if I create a new button and I want to change the properties from outside of the component itself, I can create new styles without having to create millions of different of uh, variants of the same components. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and let's see you in the next one. Bye.